was 19, a young girl lost in the big city in search of a dream come true. I remember wandering the streets of New York, often wondering who my husband would be and what my children's faces would look like and who they'd be like. At 22, I had no idea that on an ordinary night walking into Rodeo Bar, that my life was about to change. When I met you, you had a smile so contagious and a twinkle in your eye that was so mesmerizing. I'm not sure if it was the magnetic universe pulling us together, but I sure did feel something different. is just the most amazing father. I mean, I don't know any other man really who is very hands-on and loving and attentive and prideful and just so sincere with our kids. He's just so dedicated, dedicated to our children. Is there one thing you love most about life? Um. Not, not just one thing. She, she just goes over the top for everyone. It's so special for me. Hey, no, it is. No, when I heard it first, I was like, oh my god. It's just... up till midnight. <laughs> Good morning, it's just Trevor, duty manager. This is from your beautiful wife. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, wanna just open that? Well, I'm gonna hold the door. Just if you wanna open it, there's a message there, I, I believe. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> You're a lucky man. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna boy. shake your hand. <laughs> All right. Take it from there. Have a great day. All right, yeah. so open this. going on here. It, any key and press play. Alright, she knows I don't know laptops, so. Hi Daddy! Mommy has a special surprise for you! Hope you love it! <laughs> wow! Thank you, baby. That was, that was pretty special. Oh, nice. That's a nice video. Ready for you. So today, we're going to have a new wear mask. And you're going to wear that. And I'm going to get ready. And then, <laughs> why are you tearing me up? <laughs> and then we're, you're going to meet me at the castle wall. <laughs> why are you laughing? Why? 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 <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 2001, November-ish, December, in New York at Rodeo Bar. Sitting at a table next to us, started chatting, new to New York City, and just, you know, looking to talk to anyone and meet friends and everything. And he was having dinner with another woman, and it was me and my girlfriend. And I was eyeing him, thinking, oh my gosh, he is so cute. He is really good looking. But of course, I didn't want to be hitting on someone else's boyfriend or husband, for that matter. As the dinner went on, the girl went to the bathroom, and then he started talking to us. And so me and my girlfriends thought, oh my God, what a sleaze bag. He, his girlfriend went to the bathroom and now he's talking to the next girl. But anyways, in the end, uh, ended up being just a coworker or a friend of a friend. And they were just having, you know, business drinks. And um, as I was walking out, I just felt a tap on my shoulder and he 
I turned around and he had his business card and he said, do you have a business card as well? <laughs> Which was a little odd. <laughs> it wasn't really my um, traditional way of getting, you know, giving your number out. But um, so I gave him my business card and our first conversation on the phone lasted four hours. You know, we were both starting off in our careers, so we didn't have any money. And he didn't ask me on a date. He wouldn't ask me on a date. We, he would talk, and this is how scheduled he is, we would talk every day at 6 p.m. on his bus ride home. He would call me every day at 6 p.m. and we would talk every day. And so a month had passed, 30 conversations, and he never asked me out. And I would always go to my girlfriends and tell them, like, what is it? Like, why, why doesn't he want to see me, but he wants to talk to me every day? Um, and so I just asked him. Our first date was uh, a Puff Daddy, which is a rapper, uh, his annual Christmas party. And she invited me, asked me out on basically our first date um, because it was a free engagement. So, you know, free food, free drinks, and, you know, no ties to either of us. It kind of lifted off the pressure, so it was just really a fun and effortless date. Okay, I'm a little nervous now. I wasn't nervous. Now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Oh, you're so <laughs> Are you crying? Aww. You look beautiful. Wedding was in uh, just north of uh, Los Angeles in Santa Barbara at the Bacara Hotel, overlooking the ocean on a cliff, which was beautiful. I think the most memorable part of my wedding day was having my own father there. My dad passed away in 2011, and at my wedding, he had been diagnosed with cancer just a little bit earlier than my wedding, so it was really, really meaningful for me to have him there. Seeing Elaine for the first time, and you know walking down the aisle he wrote the most incredible vows there was not a dry eye in the whole house today we give you the opportunity to reaffirm your love and commitment to each other and to rekindle some of the feelings you had 10 years ago on your wedding day it will be a reminder of how far you both have come since you met all those years ago in New York and to give you a chance to focus on what you dream of for the future. Marriage is a precious and a sacred bond, so why not spend some time dedicated to honouring this loving bond between two hearts and two minds. On that February day of 2010, our baby Madison was born. I saw a different side of you, a side that I'd never seen in the nine years we were together. I remember looking over from the hospital bed and watching you hold her. The memory was so vivid in my mind. You were a changed man. You were a dad. And I was the first one to ever witness it. It was so beautiful. On that September day of 2012, our Sienna was born. I saw that same glow once again. What a beautiful experience. It was for us both to share. Your unselfish love as a father and a husband protects, teaches, and nurtures. Us three girls are forever grateful. 
Today, as we celebrate our 10-year wedding anniversary here in Ireland, I renew my vows to hold and love you on a daily basis. On this day, I renew my vows to my beloved wife to live with you and laugh with you. And to hold you tight when life's obstacles get too tough for us. To stand by your side and sleep in your arms, bring joy to your heart and food to your soul, bring out the best in you always, and to be the most I can be. To laugh with you in good times and struggle with you in the bad. I promise to be the best mother I can possibly be and a wife that keeps life full of energy and happiness. I promise you from my heart, with my soul, for all the days of my life. I cannot wait to create more memories for the years to come with the man that I am so very lucky to have. As your hands are bound together now, so your lives and spirits are joined in a union of love and trust. The bond of marriage is formed not by these cords, but by the vows that you have made. For always you hold in your hands the faith of this union. Above you are the stars, below you is the earth. Like the stars, your love should be a constant source of light and like the earth, a firm foundation from which to grow.